Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Indigo Moonlight Tarot. Um, if you are new, thank you so much for being here. Um, this is a channel of spiritual guidance. Sometimes I'll speak a little bit through the beginning, um, and you can always skip ahead if you guys already know pretty much what I'm talking about, what I'm saying, um, and I can give a little timestamp below. Um, so if you're one of those ones who like to jump right into the reading, um, I'll provide you with a timestamp below that you can wait and then come in then. Um, but if you are new, thank you so, so much for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you resonate with this video. This is a timeless reading, so it will be for... Um, it could be from any time now to in uh, to the near future, uh, months, weeks. It doesn't matter. Um, this, whenever you're seeing this video, clearly it's a is meant for you to um, come stop by. Um, and so check out that description box below um, and see how you can win free readings for um, going into August, July going into August. Um, and I have an Etsy shop right now that you can go on where I am running a really great sale. Um, so don't forget to stop by there and follow that link um, for the donations. Um, there is also a link below uh, for PayPal. Thank you so much for those who have donated and contributed to the channel. It has kept me, um, kept this channel alive and en enabled me to provide you guys with all of this. So thank you so much to those guys. Um, Today is Feminine Fridays. Um, this is something new that I'm trying. Um, you guys can let me know how you like it. So we're going to read the feminine energies here. So um, regardless of sex, male, female, um, if your energy, if you feel more drawn to the masculine energy, if you feel more drawn to the feminine energy, that is what your dominating um, energy force is in this twin flame journey. So you could be um, a woman and you can have masculine energy if you feel a little more of that um, energy then that is going to be the reading that you're going to want um, and if you feel that feminine energy dominating force the nurturing the um, caring the um, I would like to say uh, a little more shy maybe even things like that it's kind of um, and you can look it up like you know what feminine energy is then you're going to be want to be in this reading today for Feminine Fridays. Um, and I don't mean to talk so much, but this is a spiritual guidance. So uh, on top of readings, I'm also guiding you. Um, so again, you know, don't forget to hit the notification so that you keep getting the continuous um, readings for, for the new cycles and things like that. Um, and I also have a new feature on my channel where you can do live donations and you're um, and I will, um, your name I think appears at the top of the uh, messenger bar when we do the, the readings. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me, if you need anything from me, um, please feel free to follow my email, um, and I will follow up with you as soon as I can. So already we have, this is the main energy here, um, two of pentacles. So feminines, it seems to me like you are balancing a decision here. Um, you don't quite know what you want to decide and you have to struggle between um, this balance. This is also yin and yang um, and the infinity symbol for twin flames. So perhaps balancing something with your masculine, balancing those energy forces, um, trying to balance a decision that you have to make uh, with your twin flame um, for instance if you are in a relationship another relationship or if they're in another relationship you have to make that decision whether you're going to come forward or whether you're going to wait um, and be patient on this um, but I see the full which is indicative of new beginnings um, so I do see a new start a fresh start I do see that you want to move on to new um, horizons new ventures here um so there's a decision to be made that you have to make feminines and um it is going to lead you to new doors opening it's going to lead you to um a new beginning i know you can't quite see the the cards from here my camera just isn't the great with lighting right now um but this is the two of pentacles and the full card here so feminines what other energy do we have for the feminines oh wow Lots of twos. It's another two. So two of pentacles, two of wands. Ooh, we have a page of swords. So 
restless energy. Okay. All right. Two of Wands. So you are contemplating a journey ahead. Just like the Fool card is saying, uh, Two of Pentacles, once you make that decision, you're balancing these two decisions, and you decide to move on maybe to a new beginning or a new start, turning the page, um, another level in your relationship with your twin um, or with your soul partner, um, depending on what you do choose here or what they choose, um, you're going to be leaving home, so they're holding the world here, and it's that just means that they're contemplating their world, they're thinking about it, and they are thinking about leaving their home, what they're calling their home right now. They are, um, the feminines are in process of leaving that behind, leaving the past behind and moving forward, moving on, new beginnings, like I said. Um, opening themselves up to, oops, sorry, to new horizons. Um, and page of swords so restless mental energy here you are feminines you are restless um in your current situation here that's funny that looks like an f in the background with the clouds um kind of like the you know feminine so page of swords so you have some restless energy going on here you're ready to move on you're ready to leave you're ready to um enter a new chapter in your life, new beginnings here um, in your life. Feminines, what else? Between the feminine and then the masculine. Between the feminines, feminine. Feminine. Anything else? Okay. So we have, looks like. Yes, so the same thing here. The um, the Eight of Cups. So same thing. Leaving behind, moving on, moving forward. Leaving the past behind. Um, so closing those doors, walking away. Um, feminines, you are thinking about walking away in your current situation. Um, I know, I feel like many of you are probably in a, a karmic relationship or in a soul relationship. Um, and it's really hard for you to leave. That's why you have to balance these decisions here, make this decision. Um, so eight of cups and here, you know, the moon is indicative of maybe some, something coming to light, like maybe some confusion that is going to be open up to you, um, a development in truth and also um, being guided spiritually and intuitively. Um, so yeah, walking away. Okay. So a defeat here in the battle, um, feminine. So you've been fighting a long fight. And to me, this indicates that you have won a fight or you will succeed in a fight that you are going through. Maybe it's this battle, this decision that you're going to make. Um, be careful. This is saying be careful about pride too. So um, being overly prideful maybe about winning over a situation don't go ahead of yourself too quickly so take things slow in these new developments um, so as you perhaps walk away and um, are trying to head towards union trying to head towards your masculine just maybe take things slow take it easy um, just you know things like that so ace of wands manifestation power here creation power so you are creating your own reality here feminine you are manifesting your own reality um you have the power to do this twin flames um we have an immense amount of power to create our realities and to me this is saying a manifestation uh, what you have been working towards is beginning to come forth so you're going to start seeing this power come to life so you will begin to see these manifestations you will begin to to see that happening in your waking life so your dream world will become your um real world whatever you've been dreaming about fantasizing fantasizing about is going to start happening as soon as these doors are closed and you walk away and leave your past behind queen of pentacles so a lot of thought okay um you're going to be in a lot of thought about this um with that Queen of Pentacles, very powerful card about delving into your 
mental space. Um, and about uh, balance and security and being more practical. Um, so just like I said, taking the time, slowing down, being more practical about your decision, about your plans. Um, you might need to think about security a little bit as well before jumping into something else. Um, so if this is you, if this is resonating with you, feminines, um, then it's just saying, spirit is saying, is telling you um, in this journey, we might feel like we, we need to jump ahead when we see that door opening, when we see that opportunity coming, that new beginning, the new page turning. Um, just be sure to stabilize yourself um, before you get into uh, complete, you know, going into that, that new journey. Just take your time is what I'm really feeling like for you. So what else is going on? with the feminines. What's going on with the feminines in this twin flame journey? These are a little harder to We have luck is on your side yeah so whatever you decide whatever you do it looks like there will be success um, it looks like you're being watched the div through the divine through the spirit um, so you do have luck on your side when it comes to making this decision when it comes to opening new doors and opportunities um, it's saying to that you have the blessing to do this that you have the open road to do this um, like I said I feel like just take it slow um, it says, what do you need to release? So <laughs> if you're releasing a karmic partner, if you're releasing a, a soulmate partner, partner, which can be much, much more challenging, um, luck is on your side. But it's saying what is stopping you, what is blocking you right now is making that decision. So what is it that you need to release in your life? family member could be friends karmic doesn't always mean relationship with an intimate partner so just um, keep that in mind step out of your comfort zone so you've been in that secure comfort zone um it's saying this the spirit is saying to step out of that to take a step forward to move forward um those doors will be open to you because you do have this um divine on your side meditate and contemplate so we i just said that you'll be thinking a lot you'll be contemplating a lot we have that queen of pentacles um so you're going to be thinking a lot about your life and to meditate and contemplate so to take it slow to think about to pray on this to meditate on this to um, plan on this and make sure that it's a good move that will keep you secure so that you're not bouncing back or going through cycles to to do that Oops. so that's a really good message from this moonology deck let's go here so this is our um oracle deck here so for the feminines what's going on with the feminines twin flame of you we are going to get into um she said it in the beginning we are going to get into some messages from your masculine how you guys are um lining up together or you know how they are feeling towards you since this is still geared towards you um because i know many of you like to hear about your masculines and things like that we will get to some romance messages um lovers oracle towards the end of the reading but it's very important to know where you are as well so that you guys can line up and you can make your way to union not just uh, physical but also 5d and i do see spiritual alignment serving greater good focus on spirit so align spiritually with your twin focus on the spirit and the higher purpose and you guys will um come into union 
quench your thirst, be receptive, replenish yourself. So meditate, contemplate, um, fill your spiritual needs first before stepping forward, before stepping ahead to your twin. Make sure you are aligned spiritually and balanced. Opportunity, pay attention. Timeless, timeliness. So an opportunity will present itself. The door will open. Spirit saying pay attention to those doors opening. 1111. If you see that a lot, the universe is saying to pay attention. Um, and it's guiding you forward. And so, <laughs> I can't get that to stay straight. But and it's telling you to align spiritually. Quench your thirst. What is within first. And then an opportunity arises with your masculine. Oh, I love this one. Dolphin song. So telepathy, listening, guidance, clear audience. So uh, dolphins communicate Tele telepathically with one another um and i feel like this is regarding your twin so be listening pay attention to the signs and synchronicities um your guidance through your spirit um that's going to guide you forward lead you into union with your uh, masculine so clear audience make sure you're listening in focus meditate and um this will come to you um, pay attention to, like I said, the signs and synchronicities and listening in for your masculine because they're guiding you to them as well. Keeping secrets, confidentiality, privacy, and concealment. So maybe in your current um, state, you are maybe keeping these secrets um, from your, if you're with a partner right now, um, or from your from your masculine or your twin, um, keeping secrets. Maybe you're not telling them how you feel, telling them the truth. Um, many of you could just be in this state of privacy where you don't want to reveal um, the things in your life right now. You're keeping them hidden. You're being more um, vigilant, and um, you're not maybe ready to step forward yet and that's kind of like that juggling the two um, decisions here that you have to make um so yeah keeping secrets is probably not for the best um alignment of your energy because those secrets will come out eventually so if there's anything you've been kind of keeping or concealing um it, maybe it's kind of saying to release those things. It was talking about what do you need to release? Well, maybe there are some things that you haven't been open or honest about that you felt like you couldn't. Um, and I feel like universe is saying, well, you need to express these things to release these things in order to be free in this uh, cycle that you're in. Ice fishing uh, breakthroughs and increased self-awareness. So breaking through... Um, in this situation uh, that you're in with, I really feel like with this uh, with this other person, you have another relationship, I feel like, for many of you intimate, um, and there's a lot of secrets going on, a lot of uh, concealing of the truth, and um, there is gonna be a breakthrough here. Um, Self-awareness is increasing, um, got listening to your guidance, um, opportunity and paying attention. So align your spirit, and maybe it is saying to release those things you've been holding in for so long. Um, maybe even releasing how you feel to your masculine as well. Telling them the truth, honoring that um, that truth that's in your heart, following, following your heart as well. Um, so that's really good. It's really good to do that too. <laughs> no longer have that being held over in your life, being held over you. So let's see what signs from Spirit and also Love Oracle. What do we have going on for the feminines? And how is anything that I want to love in? Ooh, 999. Chills, confirmation. So again, signs. 
Wow, lots of signs. There is that self-aware again, becoming more self-aware. Wow, we have a lot of numbers here. Raising your vibration, choosing peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. That's the number uh, six multiplied. Um, so your vibration might be raising here. You might have been feeling this energy lately, uh, maybe with that full moon. Um, I don't know if it's even there. It's all cloudy every day. But profound lessons at hand. Completion of a cycle is near. Sorry if you can't really see that that well. Um, 999. So, I mean... Lessons are being learned here. Cycles are being closed here. Completion. So we definitely saw that with you, Feminines. Um, we saw that you are ready to walk away. We saw that you are ready to reveal some things and honor yourself because we have um, self-aware, the color violet, intuitive, spiritual, and self-aware. So aligning your spirit and also being self-aware. So self-awareness, we just had that. And then intuitive and spiritual. So you're growing in spirit. You're coming, becoming more self-aware, um, intuitive, letting your spirit guide you. And that is good. You want to let that guide you. You want to open yourself up to receive those signs, chills, confirmation. A confirmation from your masculine um, is what I'm getting from this. You have to be receptive and open. We had that card about being receptive um, to receive these messages. So your masculine's trying to send you a message. There is a confirmation they're trying to send you. These secrets are coming out. These truths are being revealed. Wisdom, wake up call, time to move in a new direction. The full card, new beginnings, a new direction, a wake up call here with 555. And we have synchronicities five, five, six multiplied. Um, we have fate. So yeah, <laughs> things are coming together here. Synchronicities and serendipities, um, fate and destiny aligning, uh, confirmation from the universe, from your masculine, confirmation um, that they truly want to be with you. Um, cause I feel like there's doubt there, spider and weave, weaving your own web creation. This is manifestation. So feminines, you're in an energy right now where the things you're weaving and creating are beginning to be realized. They're starting to form and make shapes and come together is what I'm feeling with spider and weave and confirmation. survival. So here's another one on um, security. So when you're leaving that comfort zone, that space where you've been for many, many years, um, it can be kind of like, you know, you have to do what you have to do to survive. Um, and that can be very hard and vicious sometimes. And you have to do things you don't want to do. But you have luck on your side. We saw that there is luck and the universe is behind you. And these things are lining up and there's confirmation. So I feel like you don't have to have fear of survival. You're a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. Weaving and manifestation. Magical creator, your thoughts are beginning to manifest. Your desires are beginning to manifest in the universe. Raising vibration, um, lessons, completion of that cycle, time to move in a new direction. So you're receiving all this confirmation that you can move forward to move on. Doors will be opening for you. The Love Compass Oracle, so this is going to be with your, um, whether you have a soulmate, um, and then also with your masculine, your twin. Let's see feminines What's going on Ooh, whoa that one went way over there feminines. I'm gonna have to reach over just a moment <clears throat> I 
I already see that we have a codependency affecting the relationship. So I pretty much I had this feeling. You may feel trapped or bound to a person's situation or environment. It may pertain to people-pleasing tendencies or reliance on external validation. Um, it's a codependency or addiction affecting. It could be issues or power misuse. So for you feminines, yes, this is a big thing. We saw that um, with survival. You're a little bit worried about security, um, some codependency issues, and God, you can't even see that. And it's blocking this connection with your masculine feminist support. But guess what? Spiritual team is assisting you here. Children, wow. So your spiritual team is assisting you reach out with your awareness. Again, the word awareness here. Call forth what you need your life at this moment. Open up. Receive help from those around you. Angels and guides are working through other people to provide the support you need. So don't worry about this. You don't have to be trapped in this codependency. You don't have to be stuck wherever you are. You will have the support you need. That luck is on your side. Children are in this are involved in this relationship. Could be a possibility of bringing a child or the thought of having children, um, inner child frequencies and high vibrations. So for you, it's possible that the decision is you don't want to affect something to do with children in the relationship. Um, you're afraid of support, maybe have some fears blocking your path forward. Um, but as soon as you release those fears, let let them go and realize that you have support system here. Um, then you can you can move on. You can move forward. Those things will be taken care of for you. And wow. Oh, wow. Mm. So let's have a look. You are being redirected from relationships and uh, situations no longer serving you. The rejection you face is a redirection to something greater for you. Let go of the need to understand or make sense. Trust that things happen for a greater divine reason, purpose. Everything is unfolding as it should. Something is happening here. Divine intervention will come through. Your spirit guides and your spirit and um, the universe and the creator is divinely sending out these messengers, this guidance um, to push you away, redirect you to a new, better opportunity, redirecting you to this, to your reunion with your masculine. This is someone from your past returning in a union forming um, Soul level physical reunion may pertain to a reunion with family, but in our case, as we are talking about our twin flames, a reunion with your masculine. Um, so a union is forming through divine intervention. They are helping you to close those doors, and they're supporting you and trying to get you from being trapped in this codependency, telling you that it's okay, and even embrace your inner child if you don't have children. It's um, directing you back to that whimsical, innocent you know, um, taking a leap of faith, um, and believing in that this is going to happen, that this union is coming. Okay. So you have a reunion, divine intervention. So you have boundaries to create in this past situation that you have with somebody, um, spend time alone if needed, uh, reconnect when you're able to, Boundaries are needed in the situation or relationship. Honor your energy and protect your energy. So set some clear boundaries here. It's uh, something that's going to be very important for you. Quality time. Put forth extra energy and effort. Okay, so taking initiative. Maybe even spending time with your friends and family. So taking things slow. Spending quality time. Maybe when you have that opportunity to be with this reunion, take it slow, spend quality time, um, get to know that person. Chemistry, a mutual spark and attraction with another. Strong magnetic pull and chemistry with this person. Passion and desire. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot of chemistry between you and your masculine. Um, and they are feeling it's a mutual attraction. 
So if you're questioning if they feel the same, definitely there is um, a lot of chemistry between the two of you. And look here, reconciliation. Coming together with someone working on what has torn you apart. So whatever separated you guys, this um, connection with your masculine this person is praying for a new beginning with you. You may be receiving an apology or compromise, possibility of a second chance. Your masculine is coming back in with you. They want to reconcile. They want to reunite. Physical reunion. Divine intervention is going to take care of this. And you're going to be setting boundaries so that you can get there. So this person wants to come together with you. This person meaning your twin. They want to come back together. <laughs> They're praying for a new beginning with you. So new beginnings. But those doors have to open first. And codependency has to be canceled out. Okay. So let's go ahead and look. What other energies we have for the feminine. to pull from I'm gonna have to like cut this in half just to <laughs> it's so large all right so we're gonna put these together this is Maruka another twin flame deck and soulmate deck as well as a whoa karm mix deck flame waiting game yeah okay so we got a lot of different things here so we have waiting game let's go like this okay sorry <laughs> okay so we have an avoidance of something so Mm, they feel like this is geared towards that same collective of feminines who are avoiding maybe um, speaking their mind, telling the truth, um, revealing you know secrets, things that they've concealed or held in for a very long time. Um, there's some avoidance of doing this due to the circumstances probably of of that the relationship um, that you're in. Um, and maybe you don't feel like you can be totally honest, like I said, with um, your masculine because of this relationship. Divine intervention, again. So, yeah. You're definitely um, headed towards a situation. We have a burning building in the background here. Um, so something emotional and maybe some turmoil that you're going through. Um, we saw that there was a codependency we saw that that the uh, divine was going to interrupt this situation and help you to um, get out of that um, that situation so that you can move on move forward towards reunion uh, towards union physically with your masculine and there's a wanting here so you definitely are desiring wanting your masculine and um, in the same way that you are they are as well so they are wanting you um, they're waiting for you as you are waiting for them. We have ascension. So um, this relationship is moving towards the next level. You guys are stepping up towards the next level in this twin flame relationship. We just can't avoid the truth anymore. It has to come out. So having dreams about one another, 
dream world. So you guys are kind of stuck in this 5D dream world with one another um, where you're, you are uniting with them. Um, and they are doing the same thing. Social media. So you guys might be kind of spying on one another from a distance. Um, you are looking at pictures of them or you are... Um, uh, kind of following them as much as you can from a distance and the same for them Because there is that mutual chemistry that you guys have together and look here resonance mirroring one another If you guys are resonating um, You guys are feeling one another's passion desires dreams um, the, the The wanting of one another um, you both are feeling this at the same time so attachment here is codependency. So this black flame means that it's karmic. So there is some karmic um, energy going on in your uh, connection with the person that you are with. And it appears that they are a false twin flame. So this person that you are leaving, this person that you are codependent on with, that there's an attachment with, um, if this is you, if it's resonating with you in that way, um, or just a karmic attachment to, doesn't matter, I mean, it could be anything, uh, a pattern here, romantic relationship, self-sabotage. Self um, and the, the divine is saying this is not your twin because it does not, that relationship would not make you do that if they were in your, your twin. So we have cross roads. This uh, red and purple flame is a twin flame uh, indicator. Your twin knows they have to make a choice. There's a lot of confusion surrounding the decision and they're taking their time to get clarity. So this sounds a lot like you. Um, so you and your twin are making decisions. They're in a crossroad, um, but there's confusion surrounding that decision and it's going to take time to get clarity. So again, clarity, um, meditation, contemplation. So the waiting game, crossroad, oh my gosh. Taking time. And here we have another twin flame card, the blue, uh, the purple and red. It's waiting. How long will you continue to wait? If you're not receiving what you want from your twin, practice self-love, okay? And we have a crossroads. So waiting game and crossroads. So the reason you guys are waiting is because you're both waiting for each other to make a decision. A hard decision. So there's anxiety and worries about your bond with your twin you're in separation but you'll emerge stronger so you guys are both waiting and you're both there's anxiety and worries and fears um, in this connection between the two of you and there is a crossroads where you're both waiting to make uh, come to a decision pragma love this is a twin flame card as well in enduring love, pragma is a love that's matured and developed, made to survive all the changes in advertising rising above the challenges. So this is going to be a full, it's unconditional love, it's enduring. Um, so you guys are waiting to do this, to mature and develop and survive all of these changes to come back together, rising to the challenges. So you have to come together in a full, total embodiment of this true love, of this enduring love. Um, with your twin flame, you have to survive all of this, the attachment, the false twin flame, um, the worries and anxieties, and making that decision, that good, healthy decision with your, as far as the karmic energy goes. Eros love, sexual, passionate, romantic kind of love, love that become infatuation filled with lust and dangerous due to the loss of control. So this is both like a karmic, and it, it could be either or. So it's love, but it's also saying that it can be kind of dangerous if you um, don't take it slow, if you don't take time to get to know this person, and it can be very addicting, but you have to be careful um, that it doesn't become an infatuation. So be careful about jumping in, just like we were saying. Fill a love. This is another twin flame card here of love. So you're getting a lot of love with your twin flame. Don't lock in... Um, in to tunnel vision on romantic love is the only possibility for a situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends. So love takes on many forms and they don't always have to be a total 
like this eros love where it's just full-on just passionate and sexual and physical um you might be better at starting off as good friends to get this to go in the um right direction in a healthy direction after coming out of another relationship especially right yeah so those attachments are very important to recognize and to um to balance and let go of so let's go ahead and get um, these lover oracles and um, final messages uh, for the feminines um, from your masculine. Uh, so untold truth, lover's oracle, and some uh, counterpart and masculine uh, cards here before we finish up with this message. Feminine, masculine, lover's truth. definitely coming out of there <laughs> you could definitely go with what the universe is saying here we have a lot going on okay so we try to put all these together starting with the truth Also, victim mistakes. So they're, you're definitely feeling misunderstood right now. Uh, you feel a little lost and like there are a lot of mistakes being made. Um, but I feel like you will come out of that negative energy where you don't feel um, validated um, and lost. So yeah, conflict, incompatibility, and differences. Um, so you thought maybe that person you're with was your twin flame and it was a false twin flame or a karmic energy and so now you guys are clashing and you feel misunderstood and you got really lost in the relationship and became codependent. But look here, we're going to have friendship, balance, and peace, and harmony. So this is twin flame energy, so there's a harmony when twin flames come together and you will finally feel like you're breaking out of this um, negative energy that you were in and coming into a harmonious peaceful um, environment or relationship with your twin so you're cautious and afraid and guarded yes you're apprehensive to jump to a um, another relationship but I'm telling you that those doors are going to open um, and things are going to start coming together for you like in harmony and a physical reunion and your masculine is praying for another chance um look inner knowing telepathy and intuition so you guys are speaking to one another telepathically they're trying to send you messages um saying you know pay attention i'm trying to speak to you and trying to communicate with you um and and trying to get through to you, I guess, to, to let you know how they feel. Um, mixed signals, blocked emotions, and clutter. So here's that clashing and clutter, heart fog. So you're receiving these mixed signals, maybe from both ends, from your twin and from this other person that you're dealing with. Um, so there's a heart fog. Um, and that's funny, there's a heart song and a heart fog. So you know the difference. So you, your inner knowing, your telepathy, your intuition is telling you what this true unconditional love is. And then this one is blocking you, making you feel cluttered and clashing and misunderstood and lost. But your twin doesn't make you feel this way. And you might be apprehensive to believe this. 
and look here, elusive, intangible, dishonest, or tricky. So it's real tricky um, <laughs> and almost intangible, twin flames can feel like. Um, but there is some dishonesty, and and it's it's a tricky relationship, is you know obviously what what it's saying. Um, but there should be an inner knowing here. You should be able to know the truth and and to know the true conditional love, reflection, shared feelings, and you, you and your twin mirroring one another. There is a mirroring, shared feelings, a chemistry that is um, shared with you from your twin. And here we go, apprehensive, oh my gosh, so these say the same things, guarded, okay, and then we have literally guarded, your heart is guarded, you're guarding your flower, your love, um, your spirit, and <laughs> you're apprehensive here, so you are being guarded about the situation, you're masculine, burnt out and burdened, so yeah, that karmic relationship has really truly burned you out, has really created this, you know, energy but you're healing okay you're healing from this toxic relationship this toxic um false twin or karmic that you are with or that you were with <laughs> but there's hope okay so there's hope for a new love a new beginning a second chance with your masculine for reunion for union you guys are obsessing over one another so obsessing over this love they're obsessing over you and you for them watching you from a distance, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, you might feel abandoned, um, lonely, lost, uh, but there's hope. So out of abandonment, there's still this hope here. There's luck on your side. And look, Cupid strikes. So coming in with new love, new opportunity um, to be physically united with your masculine. Change of perception. So... <laughs> Perception is changing from this darkness to the light out of this hope, okay? Um, it will no longer feel lost. That perception will be changing very quickly. Um, patience still blooming. So that waiting for your twin here, things are still blooming. Lessons are still being learned. Um, you're still on the path to ascension, to um, coming to this new uh, beginning here. So summer... It is the summer currently right now, so all of this is kind of occurring in this time frame here. Um, and the masculines for Monday, we got fall. So the summer, all these things are still blooming. These things are still happening. Um, you're feeling this lost, this lost right now. Um, your perception will be changing, though. And with this patience, uh, this will occur in divine timing. Um, and the fall time is where it's you know gonna happen so slow pace take things slow let the love blossom um slowly with this second or union that you're coming into with your twin um and i see date nights so taking it slow and going on some dates or you know cyber dates if you guys are really far apart things like that um so i do see opportunity here for um courtship and for date nights and your masculine is praying for a chance in this to come back in it's just on you if you want to stay guarded and um, protect yourself and survival and things like that um, it's saying that you know you don't have to be so afraid there is still hope um, and you're going to come out divine intervention is going to help to bring you out um, to a better place. So let's see some um, messages from your masculine uh, real quick. some uh, romance angels with this. Finish it all. And this one. Feminine. Okay. So 
I have a lot of messages here and I really like them. Okay, real quick. I know that I'm keeping you guys on here for a while, but I haven't been in readings for the feminines for a good amount of time. So, okay, so what we have revealed from your masculine shutting out divine and uh, ignoring intuition, meditate and breathe, and reconnecting with the I am presence, and asking for assistance and trust. So, your masculines. Um, are ignoring their intuition um, and they need to open this up and um, definitely you meditating as well is going to help them open that up they're amazed at how perfect you are for them sometimes it feels it's not real so you're very perfect for them you fill in the spaces that they lack and they're just blown away by this connection taught you so much about love and life dive into your mind so you've taught them so much, they're overwhelmed by how beautiful this connection is, by how much it matches up and makes them feel. The more you heal, the deeper my desire grows for you. So the more you are healing and taking your time to come back together with them, um, the deeper their desire is growing, the more they are wanting you and wanting to be with you. So keep working on you. Addicted to your love and attention, here's that obsession again. Um, so they love feeling you, your energy, you giving them attention. Sacral chakra, emotional blocks. So they have some, um, they're denying their deep desires. Uh, they need to love themselves as well. Um, and there is another one that was like, yeah, they, they have relationships draining them too. So they're being blocked through these relationships as well. You guys are resonating with one another. They numb themselves to escape reality and my feelings. Emotional blocks. They're trying to escape from feeling these things because they're addicted to it and they love feeling it, but they're afraid of also letting go of their um, attachments. Can make me the happiest person on earth, but they're intimidating of trying to do the same for you. So they don't know if they can live up to what you might be wanting from them. Um, being drained by people around you through negative situations, boundaries, protection. So healthy boundaries again. You guys are star seeds, and so you're star seeds and twins. So that could be just <laughs> ten times more struggle and challenging and difficult because you can be with these two people at the same time, and it's really, really challenging. Made me feel so much blown away by you. Again, they're blown away by you. They can't. They're just so amazed by this connection. Third eye chakra. Illusions. Limited perception. More clarity. Eliminating victim consciousness. So this is something they're working on. They're working on all these chakras right now and healing. And um, as you are healing, as they are healing, they feel more desire for you. And they're saying, "I, you have no built badly. You have no idea how badly I want to taste you. So they're thirsty for your love, thirsty and desiring um, you in many different ways. Um, and as you're healing, they desire you even more. And out of the romance angels, we have playfulness, recapture romance, youthful spirit to shine. Love yourself first. Self-respect makes you more attractive. So as you heal, as you love yourself, as they love themselves more, um, you both become more attractive for each other. Affected by children. We have children card again. So yeah, your guys' relationship is being affected by children. And I, that makes sense of why you guys are having such a struggle of making that decision. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is saying, so that truth that needs to be spoken, um, the uh, things that you're keeping from them um, is saying to release that and uh, express yourself. So as an ending, I'm going to get some spiritual guidance for the feminines um, going forward. Feminines.
Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you resonated with this message. This is just for the uh, Feminine Fridays, and we have Masculine Monday, so stay tuned. And uh, hit that notification bell so that you receive those new messages um, throughout the week. Feminines. Whoa. Feminines. See if I can't pull in some spiritual guidance for the feminines really quickly. Ooh. No, no, I'm just not. I'm gonna stick with this one. Yoga, so meditation, contemplation, focusing on body, on spirit, on your heart. We have love and heart. So focus on self-love. Focus on your heart. Love. Focus on true unconditional love. Union within your heart. And look around at the things that are beautiful around you to be grateful for, to feel more grateful for the um, things around you that you already have. Quiet. Look at that. Quiet and yoga. Focus, meditate, and pray. Pray on your twin. Meditate on your twin. And I notice I've been meditating more on my twin flame relationship, on my masculine. And I've been seeing them more and more through dreams. That things have been revealed to me um, about the relationship and about them. So it's very important to do this. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. Um, I really appreciate those who have stayed through. Um, like I said, look at the description box, see how you can win a free reading with me or go onto my Etsy shop to get a reading now. Um, and let me know how you like the setup, how you like uh, seeing feminines on Fridays, masculines on Mondays. Um, and I look very much forward to another reading with you guys very soon. Thank you so much.